Hi, this is James Wan. It's James, the wine guy, here to share this bottle with you today. This is V Satui. It is from the Henry Ranch Vineyard of 2009 Vintage. This is from Los Caneros. And I'll turn the back panel around here so you can see that as well. What I like is that they show the number of bottles. This is 10,446 out of 11,435. And I think that's a really cool thing. Oh, this Helvanachia, Helvanachia Minor, that's the, the Latin word for Pinot Noir. Um, I just did a video on Pinot Noir in general and all these factoids come out and uh, it's a fun thing to talk about. So not only is it a hard grape to grow, it's also a hard grape to deal with once in juice form, once in fermentation, once in, in uh, the barrel because it can boil over, has issues of color retention. So every bottle of Pinot Noir that we come and get in the marketplace and on our table is a really special thing because it took a lot of effort to get there. So wine in general is really hard to make. It's uh, physically and uh, absolutely laborious to do. You need a lot of people who are putting a lot of sweat and toil into that. So on top of that, you have all the issues with Pinot Noir. So it's probably that extra joy and extra fascination. So when we get you know this beautiful bottle and glass of wine, we can enjoy that even further. So I'll take a little taste of this wine and tell you what it's like. I don't know the composition of the um, clones in this wine. I'm guessing it's probably a 667, 777, maybe 114, 115. I always like to know that. I went to the website, couldn't find that out, but I think it's something that is really nice to know, and it's not to get too geeky, but to really, you know, really hone in on what the wine is. And really, I think in many wines, we don't know. We It's never published. It's hard to find information on, say, Cabernet Franc or Cabernet Sauvignon clones. It's just some, something that, you know, talking to winemakers, it's really based on clonal selection uh, for the particular soil type. But when it comes to Pinot Noir, it's really the end result is what is in the glass and how is this coming out. So this wine is giving really beautiful notes of, slightly roasted plum, some early season red cherry, a little bit of strawberry, some chocolate, uh, some a little bit of mint and, and pepper and violet and rose petals. So it has a lot of different um, flavor profiles and, and notes and they, they go along and stream through and sequence from one note to the next. This wine is a 9.0 out of 10.0 scale. For more reviews, please go to jameswineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and the mail. Salud.